Is the Internet of Everything the new mega trend? Yes, likely. Is it happening already? Yes. I just bought a new family van and it not only has all the possible assistance system in it, like distance assistant, lane assistant, all the stuff an old guy like me needs. No, it also has a crash assistant, which in case of a crash sends data to an emergency center. Location, impact details, speed before impact, everything they need to figure out what happened and to scramble the ambulance when needed. A side function is since once a day, this system transmit data about car status, health, fuel consumption to the cloud and I could access the data from home as well. And it shows statistics how my fuel consumption is compared to the other drivers of this model, how often the car was in eco mode and so on. Isn't this cool? But as an IT professional, this also made me wonder, how big are all the software systems in a modern car? How many lines of codes are in there, if I count all the systems? Actually, in total, it's over 100 million lines of code in a modern car. In comparison, Microsoft Office 2013, 45 million lines of code. Boeing 787 Dreamliner, 14 million lines of code. So is more better? I'm not sure. Fact is that car systems and aircraft systems need to be stable, fail safe and well designed. Okay, how often do you have a software update of your car? I have to say, with all my cars in the last 10 years, pretty frequently. Normally minor things like changing the steering behavior, a minor thing. As I live in Germany, 140 miles per hour could be called cruising speed here. So the adaptive resistance of the steering wheel really matters. And you don't want a blue screen driving at the speed. So far, so good. No serious software defects in cars or a total different story in consumer devices. Vulnerable home routers with unpatched operating systems, which make it easy for hackers to get in and to dial premium numbers. Webcams who easily could be accessed. Internet of everything devices with default master codes 0000. The list goes on and on. How could we rely on our smart home? How could we get the benefits of hyper-connectivity if the manufacturers don't do their duty, hardening the devices and making them secure? 100% security is not possible, but we see some scary and stupid stuff out there. So we are creating a database of Internet of Everything devices, a risk rating, communication white and blacklist to protect against hijacking or misusing these devices. Microsoft has done a pretty good job with their operating systems. With the latest ones, they are really safe comparing with former systems. Does history repeat itself? Do we really need to rely on security players to protect smart homes so no one could hack into your fridge or switch off the house alarm? Yes. If the vendors are creating these devices and don't do their job. So dear vendors, no matter if you're big or a startup, please consider security as well while designing these devices. A fridge itself might not be harm people if hacked, but if somebody gets into the home network via a vulnerability there and switches off the house alarm, ouch! The internet of everything is a new positive mega trend. We don't need negative news about weak security which will slow down adaption of it. It is in your interest to deliver reliable and safe systems. Do your job so the software security industry does not need to jump in to the rescue.